Hey, good morning. We are here at the base of Three Canyon, actually at the end of our adventure. And the reason we're starting at the end is because we are going to place a hand line on this five, six climb out when we leave the canyon at the very end of our adventure. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. The rope is under my arm. We're actually fairly near the Green River and we will be visiting that on this adventure. It should be spectacular. The copious amount of moisture allows a lot of trees to grow along the river and they will be changing right now is my hope. So, so down we go into Three Canyon, set up our safety line. Then we'll head to the head of the canyon, which is about three miles that way. And that is where we will rappel into this beautiful canyon. So we will see you down there. I'm really excited to check this out. Definitely looks like plenty of cairns to mark the way. And yeah, that canyon looks pretty deep. So when you see this big bolt, keep going. I'm actually gonna go way down here is where the class five section is. And you can see a Karen down there as well. All right, so now we are at the second bolt in this fairly steep gully. You can clearly see it right there. And then out beyond is awesome. So that is our adventure for the day. Well, there goes the truck in the bottom of the canyon. We're gonna head on up to the top of the canyon right now and see what it has to offer. All right, I think we are done with the road. And here is the 9300 road turnoff. When you see that, you know you're going the opposite direction. And that's gonna be right over here. So here we go. Alrighty, well, we are just off the road, heading down the gully right opposite road 9300. And it has been seamless so far. Oh, we're not very far. That said, somebody stashed their bike there. You know, and that really worked out awesome. Using the bike and the truck will make this incredibly easy. And here's what's coming. the plank here. Oh boy. Lots of down. We have arrived at the first rappel and the anchors are right there over my right shoulder. And that actually isn't very good. As soon as I saw them and I saw how rough the rappel was going to be down over there. I immediately started looking to my left to see if I could find a much more straight down spot. And lo and behold, there is a second anchor here, that red webbing, which is much better. You definitely want to use that. And the reason is that, that way it's totally straight drop down. So, you know, hopefully you can see the rope down there. And then it's a clean rope pull. So that's kind of important. Definitely use the anchors on the left when you're heading downward. So important deal there. And then this look is just amazing. I mean, I am just on this tiny little point here and then way down there is everything. Tight 
Time to drop in. All right, locked and loaded. There we go. Time to go for it. Okay, down we go. Just about a full hundred feet or one half rope length. Here comes the ground. Never bad news. There we go. Done deal. All right, here she comes. Much easier than it first looked. That's nice. It's actually a staircase. There's the view back up canyon. And then straight up, these walls are enormous. Here we go. to the way through Three Canyon now. And it is beautiful canyon, very charming, but a bit of a conundrum really, because it is spicy at the beginning and the end where you do the rappel and the five, six climb out. But really the middle, while as charming as it is, there isn't a whole lot of excitement. Just a little bit of down climbing there right after the rappel. So that's my story so far. And you never know what you're gonna see, but it is beautiful. No question about it. But is it for the hardcore guy? Not really. But on the other hand, the, the amateurs probably don't want to come here either just because there is low climbing and repelling. So I'm not sure. This is when it's good. It's usually not good. Wowzers. So just blasted through all that and more. And there's a lot of bushwhacking. So be warned, you're gonna have to push through some fairly dense stuff and hopefully you pick the right way. It's kind of a lottery that way, but now I'm free and I think I am getting to the confluence of the kind of escape route as well as the descent down to Green River. So both of those sound pretty sweet. Let's go check them out.
Oh God, back into the shit storm. Here we go. We have made it to the Green River and it turned into kind of a quest. I have to say, serious bushwhacking, like serious. There is just tons of crap growing everywhere. As you can see behind me and then across this little valley canyon outlet here, you can see even more. There is just tons of nastiness. So, pretty rough. And a little anticlimactic, to be honest. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna get out of here. The quest has been completed. And we have made the turn off, heading up the Sneak Canyon now. And it is pretty sweet, I gotta say. I'm currently in this giant overhanging section of almost cave. So pretty cool. And then it should be a pretty short way until we see the climbing rope and climb back up that and back to Happy Land. Oh shit. Gotta get over that somehow. Oh man. When utilizing the climber's exit, or the sneak exit canyon, there is a little bit of class three as you push up onto the left side of the canyon wall. And that's critical, otherwise you run into that dry fall that I did because I wasn't paying enough attention to the route description. So back on the right track, I can see a decent trail. And there it goes, and that's the dry fall where I got stuck. We are here. The exit is right up above me there. And I don't see my rope, but it probably just blew into that crack. Let's hope so. Let's go. Up, up, and away we go. And here it is. Cool. Just like we left it. And there was a way down. It. Hey, just wanted to give you a little closing on that three canyon adventure. One thing I would say for sure is definitely do a shuttle, even if it's just a mountain bike, that was great. After longer than I expected of a day, it was a pretty long way back and I was so happy I just drove my truck to the bicycle. Highly recommended for this trip. Um, again, the middle portion was pretty, but just hiking in a wide canyon. Not bad, not 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 great. That was hum ho, but the rappel at the beginning, awesome, totally cool. Highly recommended, a little bit of climbing right after. And then the end, getting into the uh, kind of sneak escape canyon, that cool side ledge and the little climb out, we're definitely all excited. So that part I can highly recommend. So you be the judge if it's for you. Um, I'd say it was worth it for me, especially because right now I am at the campsite for Moonshine Canyon, which is another favorite of mine. Actually, it was the video that's done the best for me. And I'm gonna make another one. I'm not sure if it'll come out as good as that one did, hopefully, but, uh, but it's, it's a great one. So and these are right close together. So three Canyon, Moonshine Canyon, perfect mix. So check them out. They are both fun and Moonshine Canyon is not technical. That'll be next. We'll see you soon.